Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to the Battle of Ulundi. Things have gotten pretty intense, and as you can see, the Zulu warriors are just about everywhere. Um, now, we are trying to break them, of course, and so far, I want to say we've been effective, but really, we've been kind of effective. Uh, first things first, we're going to open up here on the flanks of the enemy warriors. We're also going to target these units that are basically disrupted and about to break, or at least about to take a huge morale hit, uh, but the enemy has rifles, and that obviously makes us have a lot of problems here. As you can see, this unit is fragmented, and we could probably charge and get a victory here. I'm going to go for it, and we actually managed to break the unit. We're going to be sending our Transvaal Rangers through, and we actually managed to disrupt another unit by doing that, so I think it's going to be important for us to take these risks if we want to win. As you can see, that guy's fragmented now. I want to fire on him again. Exactly what I'm going to do. 34. And we did take some return fire, but I would say that's a pretty fair uh, give and take. With this guy, uh, I might have to go for the charge, uh, only because we've got an enemy unit behind us. He's going to do a lot of damage to us, as you can see. So A and B companies are going to attack. Some of our units are already uh, in an attack. In fact, some of our uh, native contingents are in the fight here, basically trying to assist uh, in these charges. But with the rest of these guys, we've got to do everything we can to stop the enemy. And I'm going to turn towards the enemy this way to receive any particular charge. With this guy, I'm going to go ahead and move forward one actual uh, chit, I guess you could call it. Open fire, 23 down, pretty good shooting. And we still got this cannon, but unfortunately we have a unit in front of us. I don't think we're going to be able to fire that cannon. That is unfortunate. Um, but we will keep going to the east. Obviously we've got a lot of work to do here. And I want to see if there's anyone we can actually fire at. Uh, in the west, we're having our own problems, guys. Uh, the enemy was breaking initially, but then things started to change. So I'm actually going to turn towards the enemy. See if we can't break these Udloko Warriors, and there we go. Udloko Warriors are out of here, guys, and not going to return. Well, let's hope they're not going to return. Uh, for the rest of the enemy here, we've already done a lot of damage to them in the last uh, Let's Play. You should definitely watch that Let's Play to get an idea of what's going on, because right now, of course, we're deciding whether or not to fight to the very end or to keep on firing and try to hold our lines. Um, in this case, the Commissariat, I'm going to fire. I'm not going to charge yet. Just don't believe that they have the ability to do a lot of damage. They are essentially medical staff. Uh, and we're also going to turn towards the enemy here. Open fire. 26. Not bad, not bad. And let's hope that next turn, our luck turns even more. So here we go, guys. Uh, we will end the turn now. And let's hope for the best. Load and fire, lads. Nice shots there on the far right of the Zulu line. But of course, they are using their ta their tactic of the uh, bull in the horns, uh, basically trying to cut us off from both sides and smash us in the center. And it seems to be working right now. We do see a few of their units routing, a lot more than we did than we had in the Battle of Isalandawana. But we must keep fighting, guys. And right now, our native contingent is having some problems. That's definitely not what we're looking for. Come on, boys, you can do this. Stand tall, men, stand tall. 10 down. Actually, really good attack against the Uno Nenki Warriors. Remember, our guys in most of these uh, particular fights are just using their bayonets. Um, we got another unit to disperse. Another unit to disperse. Hey, I'm liking that. Excuse me, guys. And, once again, another unit to fight. Indecisive. Alright. We've also got that unit basically taking off. But a lot of fights going on around the place. A lot of close combat fights here. Most of them are actually ending with um, the enemy being fragmented. But there's so many enemies... I'm not sure it makes much of a difference, guys. We should manage to fragment that enemy. They're charging us in the flank. I was worried about this, and this is why I was firing with this unit at that unit. We might have to countercharge. Who knows? Um, we actually managed to stop them with a nice bayonet um, wall, and we've actually also disrupted another unit here that got into a fight with our first Dragoon guards. So we might have to go ahead, get the bayonets out, and keep attacking if we want to hold the advantage. Worrying about all these attacks, guys. It's a little too much. Look at all those disrupted Zulus. I mean, if we could get to them, we'd be doing just fine. But as you can see, they're charging. It's because of their numbers that they're really able to do this. Otherwise, I think we would probably be winning. But as you can see, they are continuing forward nonstop. 
Disrupted? My goodness. That's the medical commissariat. We can't lose at Olundi, boys. We've had enough hardship. Good shooting. Now, incredibly, we still have most of our units that have not run. Um, of course, there's still more combat phases showing up. And especially these combat phases where the enemy's attacking from the flank could end in a run, or a break, I should say. But we're actually holding off pretty well right now, all things considered. Um, they have bro broken through us, most of, well, for, for the most part, of course. Um, and especially with these flank attacks, they just broke one of our units, G and H companies. Obviously, things like that, we can't have another unit of ours breaking. We just can't have that, guys. But there's not much we can do to stop it. Um, and even the Natal Guards are running away as quickly as possible. That's a native contingent of guards, so those are actually uh, fellow Africans. Um, well, Africans, I should say. We're British, so we're not really African. But uh, we consider this our land, of course. Um, so it's good to see that... Well, bad to see that they are don't have a lot of uh, trust in our ability to win this fight. We did break another Inyoloho Warriors there. Hope that this continuous fire can break more. There's another one broken by our incredible cannons. Keep it up, boys. Very indecisive there with our foot warriors. Come on, boys, hold out with the bayonets until reinforcements arrive, which they're not going to arrive, I don't think. Hopefully some of our units will rally. Unfortunately, that's the native contingent breaking. That might cause a lot of other breaks. I hope not. Come on, and we broke one of the enemy contingents. Absolutely excellent. Of course, now we're going to chase them, and we're getting into Zulu territory. This actually reminds me a lot of our fight in Custer's Last Stand. Even if we do start getting the advantage, if we break and run and chase the enemy into their own territory, we're going to get chopped up, and that could be what happens here, but we have to wait and see to the end. Come on, boys. Not a good fight. And there we go. We got a unit that's rallied. Unfortunately, we've got two units that are that are routing, <laughs> and uh, that's definitely going to be a big issue. But we disrupted some of the enemy units here. Of course, that is going to hurt us bad. That flank attack, it's almost impossible to survive, really. All right, it's the Imperial turn. So now, guys, we need to figure out what the hell to do. First things first, we want to open fire on the weakest units, but if we can't, we can fire at the units on our flanks. Some of these units are capable of moving forward and continuing this assault. 12 is not bad, but we can do a lot better than that. Alright, we've also got this fragmented unit. Now, I'm going to turn them towards the enemy just to get a shot off on the backs of these warriors. And with our cavalry unit, I'm going to try to fire at this fragmented unit and see if we can break them. And we did break them, guys. So another enemy unit routing and a lot of enemy units disrupted. If we had some more infantry over here, we'd be doing beautifully. Uh, but since we don't, we kind of have to contend with what we've got. And actually, we can do a pretty good charge here. I think I'm going to go for it. I don't need this guy attacking our cavalry. So we're doing a downhill charge with our bayonets, hoping to get at least a small advantage in this fight. And let's open fire. Not bad, boys. You could do better than that. And, oh boy. I'm just going to turn towards the enemies and open fire with the commissariat. We don't need the medical staff being taken out, but... That's more, more or less what's probably going to happen. Let's get really, really close here to the Usagmeni warriors. Open fire. 25 down. We have disrupted them. Let's see. If we could keep this much firepower up, it could actually do pretty well. 29. Come on, boys. Here we go. Sort of leading or heading them off at the pass, I guess you could say. And I'm going to bring in Baker's Horse Company and also open fire. I know I can't turn directly towards the enemy, and that actually lowers the amount of damage we can do to them. Uh, but I feel confident that if we stick around, we might be able to hold this area. So let's go ahead and open fire on these warriors. And we'll move forward with the A and B companies. 
and also open fire. Those other ones are running. We don't have to worry about them. There we go. And I think for now, we just wait and see what happens, guys. There's not much else we can do. Obviously, our our actual, um, what are these called? Our ox wagons can't really do much in terms of defense. Uh, we might be able to get a hit, though, on one of these enemy units. Uh, I'm going to go for one of these in the back, actually. Let's fire at this one. It's getting close. Unfortunately, not a single shot. And showing kind of or the way our cannons were turned, I'm actually not very surprised that we didn't get a single shot there. That's kind of par for the course. What about this guy? Is he ready to fire? I don't think so, guys. So we have to leave it up to our men. Obviously, 23% of the enemy troops have routed. 21% of our troops have routed. I would say this is a really close fight. But do you guys think that we're going to be able to come out on top with a victory? Let us know in the comments down below. Of course, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And share the video with your friends. And make sure to take a look at the other parts of this video so you get some context with the battle. Uh, I will drop that below. Thank you, guys. Take care. Have a wonderful day.